What's going on people? I thought I'd ask you guys what you wanted to see. Been quite a lot of video requests, but somebody asked in the comments, how do I go about growing my YouTube in 2020? Any tips for building an audience, getting more views, building more subscribers? So, so I thought I'd give you guys five ways that you can go about building your YouTube audience up. Uh, and just things that worked for me in the past and things that I do you know, currently that have really helped. So, But before we get into the video though, I wanted to let you guys know that I've almost finished up with a big MIDI kit that I've been working on. A whole bunch of hi-hat MIDIs, chord midis, melody midis. So I'm gonna sort of do an announcement video for that at some point. But I thought I'd just let you guys know that it's close to being ready. Um, but yeah man, let's get into this video. All right, kicking things off with tip number one, and that is your upload schedule slash volume. You need to be uploading regularly and at the same time, it has to be consistent. Way more producers are uploading beats in 2020 than they were like 10 years ago when Cash Money AP and DJ Payne 1 were all like killing it. So there's no room for uploading once a week. You have to, honestly, in my opinion, I think you should be uploading at least once a day. There's reaction channels on YouTube that are uploading videos like four, five, six times a day. And that's not even an exaggeration. They're uploading all the time, every day and getting crazy views for it. I know that's not a comparison for people that are making type beats. However, the point is still valid that with way more producers uploading beats, you need to be regular. You need to be in people's feeds consistently. And for those of you guys with smaller channels, the best way to do that is by having that regular upload schedule so honestly I would recommend uploading at least once or twice a day now I totally understand if you have other things you know life can get in the way but the problem with that is that YouTube doesn't know your schedule YouTube doesn't know that you have school to go to or that you have a nine-to-five to work all it cares about is keeping people on their platform so the sad fact is you're gonna have to put in the work and really grind it out and just make sure that you're uploading every day now that leads into my second point which is keyword targeting because you can upload every day if you're trying to rank for a drake type beat or a future type beat it's going to be time wasted energy wasted and you're just going to get disappointed with the results that you're not getting so you need to be targeting keywords that you can rank for now now how do you rank for certain keywords or how do you know what keywords to target it's a good question the easy easiest way to do it and I'm afraid you're gonna have to invest a little bit into this is using TubeBuddy this isn't a sponsored video but honestly TubeBuddy is the best way to find keywords that you can rank for not the free version the paid version and the reason why the paid version is more useful is because when you're searching for keywords in the keyword explorer it gives you a weighted score now a weighted score basically means how likely your channel and your audience size and the amount of views you have on your channel how likely you are to rank for any given keyword so i may rank higher for a keyword on how to sell beats related to other channels that don't make content related to that topic now you can use the free version if you have no budget but you don't get that weighted score you get an unweighted score so you don't know if your channel is likely to rank for any given keyword with the results that you get from the keyword explorer so i'd highly recommend jumping onto you buddy I'll leave a link down below for you to get on TubeBuddy. But I'd highly recommend going for the paid plan. You don't need to have like the premium version. You can just get the bare basic paid account. I think it's like $9 a month or something like that. But that will give you the weighted score for any given keyword that you're searching for. So that's tip two. Make sure you're hitting the right keywords when you're uploading beats regularly. I'd recommend trying to hit one to three keywords. And those keywords are ones that need to have a good score for them on TubeBuddy. And I would hit them hard. I'd hit the same one for about a month. Take a look at your data. Then go back, try another another one see what see what works better go with the one that works better so yeah tip number three tip number three is to be super active being super active is what got me to my first 5,000 subscribers, I believe 4,000, 5,000 subscribers. I basically commented on as many videos as I possibly could. I've done a video about this previously, but this was my single strategy for growing my YouTube channel when I first started. And the good thing is with YouTube, it doesn't have to be specifically rappers that you can target. It can be other producers and it can be rappers, anybody that's in the producer music genre on YouTube because you can get paid for YouTube views, we all know that, so it doesn't really matter where those views are coming from, as long as you've got people that are interested in your beats, it's all good. So what I used to do is I used to come on YouTube, I used to search for type beat, I'd filter it to the last half an hour or the last day, and I'd just cycle through all of those videos, leave a genuine comment, and make sure it's a genuine comment, no spammy, nasty stuff that just asks people to subscribe to you or follow for follow, don't do that. Just give them some genuine feedback, say, hey, I like this beat, mix is clean, keep doing your thing, bro. That's, that's literally as simple as it has to be. The numbers, I would say, spend at least one to two hours per day 
just hitting YouTube, commenting on people's stuff, liking, subscribing to other people, and just get really embedded in the community that you want to build on YouTube. It's the best way to go about doing it. But that for me was hands down the most successful strategy that I employed when I was trying to grow my YouTube channel in the beginning. So I was sub 1000 subscribers. I just went crazy commenting and subscribing to people and that allowed me to get that initial bump in subscribers and, and views. Now that leads on to the fourth point, which is to make your thumbnails pop. I know a lot of people say this when they're giving advice on YouTube, but trust me, the thumbnails need to be eye catching they need to stand out amongst all the other type beats that are going to come up when people are searching for type beats especially when it's as crowded as it is today your thumbnails need to stand out if someone searches for a shorty shorty type beat and you can rank on that keyword if your thumbnails dreary and looks crap and just doesn't look like an enticing video or an enticing beat then it's pointless you actually ranking for that keyword because no one's going to click on it so the thumbnails need 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 to stand out the best way to do it is pick bright colors and make sure that they're highly saturated that's the easiest way to explain it so let's take a look at my youtube channel my second youtube channel okay so here are my videos as you can see nice bright colors pink green red all of these colors are vibrant they stand out and if i can get a video ranking for a specific keyword people are going to be more way more likely to click on these because they look nice and they just pop now that brings me to my last point and i've tried to kind of order these in a logical order so that because doing all of these things combined is key okay you can't just upload every day and expect to get more subscribers you can't just find a good keyword and then upload like once or twice a month and expect to be ranking and getting more views so just to reiterate all of these things you need to do together you can't do one or the other you have to do all of them and that brings me on to the last point and a very valid point which is you need to be uploading good beats if your beats just aren't there yet i honestly wouldn't recommend uploading beats to youtube every day because you're putting extra time and effort into doing this and if your beats aren't up to a standard where people click onto your video listen to the beat and they're just like oh this is a crap beat immediately click off that's not giving youtube any good signs to recommend your videos to more people because your watch time is down therefore youtube sees that as you know people aren't sticking around on this video we're not going to recommend this video anymore and for us guys as type beat producers if you're making beats and uploading them to youtube the key determinant of whether someone's going to listen and stick around and kind of get inspired by your beat is by the beat being good that means you need to get your mixing up to a, a decent standard you need to be making catchy melodies have your drums stand out you just need to get your beat sounding good so so be super honest with yourself and if they're not there yet just go back to the drawing board spend a couple of months learning trying new things out until you get your beats to a standard where you know you play them and like people can just sit and listen to the beat and vibe to it get them to that point and then start hitting all of these previous points that i've recently highlighted and you will have a lot more success hands down if you're ranking for keywords if you're uploading every day if you're being super active and your content just isn't good the videos aren't good the beats aren't good then again you're just wasting your own time and effort so really just build up the quality of the product first and then start uploading okay i hope this has helped if you guys do anything else to grow your channel that you're having success with make sure you make sure you share them down in the comments if there's anything that you're struggling with again just ask questions down in the comments and i'll be happy to answer them uh, and one last quick plug, if you guys need to upgrade any of your sounds or if you want to learn more about selling beats online, then head over to my website, prodllb.com. I've got all my beat selling courses on there, drum kits, premium kits, free kits, you name it, all of the good stuff's on there. So head over there after the video and see if there's anything that you like. Uh, but yeah, man, hope that's helped. Take care.